Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are calling in from today. Jazzy here, health fitness specialist at Exos Autodesk. We're going to get started with our stretch break. So if you have anything today that is a little bit tight, needs a little bit extra love, feel free to drop that in the chat and I'll add that to what we're going to be doing today. But the main focus um, that we're going to do is going to be on the hips and the lower body. So we'll get a lot of hip stretches in, stretch out the piriformis. So that's going to be the plan for today. Um, I'll keep an eye on the chat box if you want to drop anything at any time, feel free to do so. But we're going to make our way onto the ground. We're going to be sitting down in our box position here. So we're gonna have one leg out in front and the other leg is gonna be off to the side. So my left leg is in front straight out and I have a 90 degree angle in the knee. And then I have a 90 degree angle in the back knee as well. So back knee out straight into the side. So from the side here, we're already looking like this. And it might take you a second. I know this is my, my tough side, if you see some grimaces here, is because this side doesn't feel as good, but that's why we're doing it. So what we're gonna do here after we get a little bit situated, we're gonna do some leaning. So we're gonna have our arms straight out to the side. We're sitting up as tall as we can. And we're gonna go ahead and bring our chest towards that front leg as close as we can, keeping that core tight. We're gonna exhale coming up, making sure both of our feet are on the ground. And from here, we're gonna to rotate towards our back leg. So my, my right leg is in the back. I'm rotating towards my right leg here. And we're gonna try and bend as far forward towards that back leg. So you can see I'm not bending very far. And then we're gonna come straight up and twist back to center. So we're gonna do that a couple of times here. So we're keeping that core tight back flat our ankles, knees, and feet are staying on the ground. We're coming back up, opening up towards that back leg, keeping those arms nice and straight, exhaling, leaning towards that back leg, and back to center. Great job. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. So bending forward, bringing that chest to the front leg, coming back up, and we're twisting and bending towards that back leg as far as we can and back to center. Awesome. All right, next thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna stay on this side. We're gonna do some side stretches here on each direction. So my left leg is in the front still. I'm gonna place my left hand or elbow on the ground, reaching my right arm overhead. So whatever leg is in the front, you're gonna put that hand or elbow on the ground reaching over with the opposite arm. We're gonna take a few deep breaths here. We're opening up our side body, opening up our hips a little bit more, relaxing through the lower body. You don't wanna tense up those glutes at all. And on our next exhale, we're gonna go ahead and go to the other side. So we're gonna plant that hand on the outside of our back foot, reaching up overhead with the other arm. So my right hand is outside of my right leg, left arm reaching towards the windows here on this side, taking big deep breaths, slowly exhaling, relaxing further into this position here. We're getting a nice stretch through the side. You're gonna feel that a little bit on the glute of that back leg. And on the next exhale, returning to that first position here. So we're gonna do one more each way, reaching a little bit further overhead than we did the last time. Try and touch that wall. Or if you have a window on that side of you, touching the windows. Nice, big, deep belly breaths. On our next exhale, pleaning that hand on the outside of our back leg, reaching overhead. So we might start feeling this a little bit in that hip of the back leg. We're relaxing the lower half here. Sighing away any tension we feel in the lower body. Feeling our side expand as we inhale through our lungs here. And on our next exhale, we can return to center. Great job, everyone. From here, we can go ahead and flip over to the other side. So my left leg was in front. Now my right leg's gonna come in front. My right hip is very tight today. Okay. 
And this is where you might notice one side is a little bit easier to get into than the other. So this is my easy side. I always like to do the hard side first. So right leg straight out in front, foot 90 degree angles here, back leg straight out and back, okay? So we're gonna start with our folding and rotation. So hands straight out to the side, we're gonna do three of these here. And we're inhaling, bringing the chest towards that front leg bending down as far as we comfortably can with keeping our knees and ankles and feet connected to the ground. Exhaling, keeping that core tight, returning to our center position, rotating towards that back leg, keeping those feet, knees and ankles on the ground, leaning towards that back leg and rotating back to center. Great job, everyone. Bending forward, chest to that front leg. Exhaling back to center, rotating, keeping those arms straight, folding forward and returning to center. All right, last one here, bending forward, chest to front leg, sitting straight up, rotating, opening up and onto that back leg and returning to center. Awesome job, everyone. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and stretch out our sides a little bit. So opposite way now, so my right leg is in the front, I'm gonna put my right hand slash elbow, whichever is more comfortable on the ground, reaching overhead with my left hand here, keeping again those knees and ankles on the ground. Big deep breaths here. Sighing away that tension, keeping that lower body nice and loose. And on our next exhale, we're gonna place that left hand outside of the left leg, reach it on overhead. Or if your right leg is in back, right hand on the back of the, or on the side of the right leg. Breathing nice and deep, feeling that opening up our chest, our side body here. A little bit of a shoulder stretch as well. And on the next exhale, we're gonna go back to that first position. So whatever arm is in front or whatever leg is in front, that arm is off to the side, reaching overhead with the opposite hand. It's gonna be our last time doing this, reaching a little bit further than where we were at the first time. Big deep breaths, slowly exhaling. And last one on this last exhale, going back to that second position. So hand on the outside of the back leg, reaching on over with the opposite hand, trying to reach a little bit further than you were the last time. Sighing away that tension we feel today. And let's do one more deep breath here. And on the exhale, we can return to center. We can gently come out of our shin box here and we're gonna make our way onto our back. We're gonna stretch out our piriformis a little bit. It's gonna help us loosen up our backside from the low back to the hamstrings and the glutes. So we're on our backs here. I'm going to start with my right leg. So I'm going to take my right ankle, placing it over my left leg, making that figure four here with that knee. If that is a great tension for you, go ahead and stay there. You can even push on that knee a little bit. If you need a little bit extra tension here, go ahead and interlace those fingers and grab behind the knee or onto the shin. We're going to pull that knee towards the chest. We're gonna to start to feel that stretch right under the glutes. That's that piriformis muscle. You can get pretty tight from sitting. We're inhaling nice and deep into the belly. And we're slowly exhaling nice and slow. Sighing away that tension we feel in the back of our hips today. Relaxing into the stretch. Let's go ahead and do one more big inhale here. 
And we can slowly exhale and release that left foot onto the ground and then the right foot. And then we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So left ankle above the right knee. And if that is a good stretch, go ahead and stay there. You can even push on that knee a little bit if you need a little extra tension. Interlace those fingers and grab either behind the knee or in front of the shin, pulling that knee towards the chest. So we're starting to feel that stretch right under our glutes here. Feeling our low back and our hips expand with each inhale, nice and deep into the stomach, into our belly. Exhaling, sighing away that tension today. Keeping those legs nice and relaxed. We don't want to tense up here. We're going to do one more deep breath here, slowly inhaling. And on the exhale, we can release out of that. Place those feet back on the ground. And you can either stay laying on your back or you can roll over into seated kneeling or standing. But that is going to be all the time I have for this stretch break. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you feel nice, refreshed, relaxed, ready to get back to your work day. Um, we do have another stretch break today at 2.30, as well as two live group exercise classes. We got some yoga at 12.30. We got a boot camp class at 12, so don't miss out on those. And then later on today, we got abs core mobility with Luis. So definitely join us for any or all of those classes. We do also still have our virtual blood drive going on, so you can sign up on our SharePoint site and help donate blood, help save lives today. Um, but if you ever have any questions about anything, feel free to reach out. We're always here, happy to help. And uh, thank you all again for joining me. And I hope you have a great morning and I'll hopefully we'll see you all later at the next stretch.